Today I decided to make some placemats that I thought would look nice on my black granite table, as well as help my kiddos learn how to properly set a table. Of course, there are almost endless possibilities design-wise, but I chose this one in part because it only used three colors of tape, not counting clear. There is more info on the blog at artdeco.com on how much tape you'll need. If you go with the design as shown in this tutorial, you'll also need to know how to do basic checkers, instructions for which can be found at artdeco.com under the Stucco tab at the top or on the Art Deco channel on YouTube. We're going to start with a basic half strip checkerboard that is 9 12 inch full strips tall and 6 18 inch full strips wide. This will give us a finished standard size of about 11 by 17. I used a 10 inch dinner plate because that was the size of plate that I had handy. I was very careful when peeling it up because I just couldn't stand to see all those checkers and my hard work go to waste. I'll show you what I used it for at the end of the video. When you're peeling up a base that has such a large chunk of it cut out, loosen all four corners and sides and work your way around so it comes up without ripping, stretching, or worse, sticking to itself. Cover the opening with white tape, sticky sides up, keeping it as flat and straight as possible. If I wasn't using a checkerboard, I probably would have laid out an 11 inch square of white tape and cut my plate from there, overlaying it over the top of my mat when I was done. The reason I didn't do it this way on this mat is because the checkerboard pattern would show through the plate and I didn't want that. You can see the wrinkles though on such a large area, so try and flatten them towards the center of the circle since you're going to be cutting out the middle. I just grabbed a bowl from the cupboard, centered it on the circle, and cut it out. And then I covered the back with gray duct tape. To form the rim, I just freehanded about a sixteenth of an inch around my circle and then covered the back with white duct tape. To do my silverware, I literally just laid it out and traced around it, fixing the details as I cut it out. Hmm, maybe I need to ask my template girl to make me a pattern for these. I'll keep you posted on that. I'm not always this precise and careful when I peel these up to keep it in one piece but I wanted to use these for a variation on the mat that I'll show you at the end of the project. Peel it up and cover the back with gray. You know the drill. Last, we just need to add a place for our cup to go, and it will be off of the mat just because I didn't leave enough room for my knife. Flip it over, cover the back of that with red, and then cover the entire back with white duct tape. Wipe off any stray wet erase marker lines, Cover with clear duct tape, trim, and border with red. Add your scraps to your duckle ball, and you are done! So this is what it looks like when it's done, and of course the back can be used with wet erase markers as a drawing board. So this is what I did with those scraps that I so carefully peeled up from my mat. I've just put them on top of a checkerboard that was already made covered it in clear tape, and used it as a really interesting mat. Thanks for watching, Decos, and remember, you can find more fantabulous duct tape projects at www.artdeco.com.